Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. One of the key tenets on any small farm is maximizing your space uh, and making use of the infrastructure for multiple uses if possible. So today we're going to work on our feed barn and try to turn it into a Joel Salatin style raking house, an area sort of a combo for rabbits and chickens. Got a lot of work to do, uh, but I think we can get it done. So hang around with us and let's put together the Sheraton Park raking house. The building uh, as it sits is basically three sections. We've got the upper section up here. Right now we're just using it primarily as parking and storage. The middle section, that's where we keep all of the feed. Um, big totes of feed, we keep pallets of feed, feeding equipment like buckets and scoops and that kind of stuff, we keep that in there. And we're actually gonna go in there, <clears throat> level that down and, and put some gravel in it to make it a little bit nicer. So the project, the piece that we're working on is this lower third. And let's walk over here and I'll kind of show you what we've got done so far, talk about what we're gonna do uh, and how we're gonna build this thing out. So we saved y'all the boring details of cleaning up, but one of the primary things that we done um, off camera before we started this was the upstairs of this, we went in there, there was a bunch of junk up there. We got rid of all of that. We've now moved our uh, drinkers and feeders and some poultry equipment and some bee equipment that's not in use storage. So that works out perfect for that. Up off the ground, it's in the dry. Down here in the bottom, We've cleaned all of this out. This was another area that was really pretty, I mean, it was pretty rough. A lot of old hay, some rotten lumber, um, buckets of junk, old carpet. I mean, it was just a little bit of everything down here. We got all that cleaned out. We've since come in, put down a bunch of, there was some old hay in here. We kind of spread that out for, to start our deep bedding. Backside back here, this was an opening that went out to the barn that we tore down in another video. <clears throat> Still got part of a, a little uh, breezeway area. We got to take all that apart because we're going to tear this plywood and these boards out, fix that back a little bit nicer, make a door so that the chickens can go out and they'll have a little bit of a run out there uh, during the winter time. This wall that separates this area from the feed barn where we actually keep the feed, um, some of these boards are broken. Some of the, the uh, uh, framing is broken so we're going to have to take that down and fix all that we're going to come in here we'll be hanging our uh, rabbit cages off of these uh, floor joists from the upstairs and then the chickens will all be down here in the bottom this stuff will all move out here's some of that junk that we got out old carpet um, all this stuff will move out we just went ahead and bought some of these cages from tractor supply just because it's quick and we can get them up and get them rolling pretty pretty fast and we want to get those chickens in here because cold weather's here cold weather's coming uh, and we want to get them inside i think probably what we're going to do we're probably going to mount some nest boxes in here ain't we jw yeah. yeah we'll mount some nest boxes on the walls or somewhere so that we've got a place for the chickens to lay um, and the chickens will just sleep on the floor um, that's what they're used to doing so they'll be in here Purpose being, you know, the rabbits will be in here pooping and peeing down on this deep bedding. The chickens will be in here scratching it around so that it keeps some of the smell down or keeps all the smell down from what I've heard. So we're looking forward to trying this. Um, Going to be doing some more rabbit stuff. Um, I We had some rabbit for supper last night. Sort of done a rabbit and rice soup. It was absolutely wonderful. So, okay, we got these, uh, okay, we got the this wall. Part of it's knocked down and the other part of it is loose. We're going to have to cut us a couple of boards um, to lengthen them. We're going to take them out the table saw and rip them so that we can have something to fasten from between this post and that post over there and get the wall put back together. JW's got our header board back over here. We're going to end up putting some boards over there to create another wall and then there'll be some chicken wire at the top to keep, uh, keep birds from getting out. Right. 
So we got these do more small animal rabbit cages from Tractor Supply. And these are the, they were 34 99 30 inch by 30 inch. And JW's been putting them together. And I got a hold of one of these and I'll just tell y'all, they feel really, really, I mean, I know it's rabbits and you don't, you know, you're not trying to keep a cow in, but they feel kind of cheap. And he said, what do you said? Two or three of them, they were, they weren't even new, were they? They'd been yeah, over? Yeah, yeah, no, only one of them was new. Only one of them. Been yeah, all of them had been returned except for one of them. So, which, you know, okay, fine, whatever. It's a rabbit cage. But they just feel kind of, kind of cheap. So, just buyer beware. And a modification that we're making on these is, uh, JW said, we're zip tying the snot. Of course, he didn't use snot. We're <laughs> You mama might watch this video. I might have kept it out. Um, we're we're zip tying the the devil out of these things where the uh, panels come together, just to give it a little added stability and a little strength. So I think that'll help. But yeah, it just the whole thing feels kind of. I mean, they're just not. And I know it's a rabbit cage, but I just would have expected them to be a little more substantial feeling. They just feel kind of cheesy. All right, we've got. The barn enclosed now on this end over here. Got uh, all that junk that was a wall, now gone. Everything inside is cleaned out, moved out of the way, except for Sophie. Um, next step, we're gonna get some wood chips and uh, get us a nice deep bed of wood chips in here to about 12 or 18 inches. We'll see what we can what we can come up with. Had a dump uh, dump truck load delivered the other day. <clears throat> so we're gonna go get some of those start filling this up in here Got the wood chips in. This is one of those times when I wish we had smell-o-vision. It smells absolutely lovely in here. <clears throat> Some places probably 12, 12, 16 inches over here in this corner. There's other places where we might be four or five inches. Still got plenty of chips left out in the chip pile. <clears throat> we'll probably bring some more out and uh, continue putting a nice deep bed of wood chips in here. This smells really good. Underneath this there's some old junk hay. So, you know, we've got a lot of carbon material in here for the chickens to scratch through. And uh, whenever we get those rabbits <clears throat> moved in and they start pooping and peeing and it drops down. A lot of carbon to absorb that. The chickens will stir that up. So, got our wood chips down, getting our carbon in, and it smells good in here.
So here's our cages. I don't know how well this is showing up on camera, but here's our cages. Um, we got six of them in. So the two males will be here, and then the four females will be over here. A couple things uh, hung them with just some hooks, little pieces of chain, and then we came back in and zip tied these together, and it adds a lot of stability to it. And I know it shakes, but I mean, first rabbit that complains about that, um, we're going to eat it. Saunders, um, you know, like I said earlier, these. Um, the cages are just a little bit janky. I mean, they're, they're not real substantial, so we're putting another zip tie on the hinge side just to kind of hold the door together. But I think these are gonna work out really nice. Um, and we've got still got room to expand down here. We could put another four easy, maybe six on this side um, of the barn. Plenty of bedding down, ready for chickens to come in. We brought one rabbit down, tested him out. I mean, it works out good. I think it's so hard to see because all those wires. But we got our cages up. There's another step out of the way. Is that good? Looks good to me. Okay, we got our water lines put in. JW fixed us a uh, bucket with a bulkhead on the end of it and a quarter inch line threaded down and then these individual nipples in each one of the cages. So those are gonna be really nice. So all that's left now for this stage, getting the rabbits in here. So we're gonna run down the barn and get them. Don't have the feeder. We're gonna use those old feeders you've got. We've got some old, yeah, we've got some old feeders that are in the hutches now we're going to use those we've ordered some new ones i think they're too big but these will work for the time being so let's go get some rabbits Okay, so we've got our rabbits in here. One issue that we've been talking about, thinking about how we were going to solve, was the chickens getting up here on top of this loft. And we bought some of this, it's hard to see. Some of this uh, <clears throat> bird netting, a lot of people put it over their grapes and their vegetable garden and that kind of thing. It's very thin, and JW and I got to talking, we're afraid. Bird gets up there, gets into that, they're just going to tear it down because they can't see it. So, we have elected, we're trying this. We've got a roll of our poultry netting and we've pulled it out and we're fastening it to the posts and letting it droop down to the top of the wall and see if that will not prevent the birds from coming up and flying over. Same principles when they're out there on the ground, only now they're gonna look up, they'll see that netting. Again, 
the idea behind this stuff is they don't they can't focus on it so they can't fly over it so we're working on tacking this stuff up we've decided this is either genius or the dumbest thing we've ever done <laughs> so we're gonna finish putting this up and uh, we're about ready to bring some chickens in here all right that looks pretty good um, got that poultry netting up there just got it hanging I mean just a couple of screws at the top a couple of screws at the bottom pulling it taut um, keep it nice and firm make it looks nice makes it look nice same up there and we even had a little bit of an extra stroke of mad genius had a little bit left over came down and boom we got a gate a little we might need to do some of that figure out how to fold it back and pin it up or something make it look a little nicer but anyway there we go that solved about three problems all of a sudden that we were going to have to figure out how to fix so I think it's about time to put some chickens in here or maybe tomorrow we'll see so there we go um, we got it ready to the point that uh, chickens can go in that's the next step we're gonna give them a couple of days we got to close them up um, move them up close to the raking house we're gonna bring the uh, nesting boxes in set the feeders up a couple other things before the chickens are actually moved in again what we keep hearing is that having those chickens scratching up all of those wood chips underneath those rabbits will keep the smell down and also builds a really nice compost hopefully next year we can go in there with the bucket on the tractor scrape all scrape all that stuff out put it in a manure spreader and take it out here and uh, put it out on our pastures and hopefully um, get more grass growth next year for the cattle but anyway man isn't that beautiful pretty time of year here in the, here in the Appalachian Mountains. Please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.